You're listening to your Morning Monarchy. We have been doing all year long the fourth Wednesday of the month. Not the fifth Wednesday of the month, because those those are pretty rare. We have been doing the Mouncy Minute. Our buddy in the great white north, Gavin Mouncy. GavinMouncy.substack.com. Since January of this year, we have been doing a monthly installment called the Mouncy Minute, where our buddy Gavin Mouncy... Talks about recipes, talks about making food for yourself, talks about gardens, talks about doing it all. And of course, we are big fans of his book, Recipes for Reciprocity. All this year, we've had installments. 24 Reasons to Start a Garden in 2024. Covert Gardening. The power's out. What are you going to do? Eating weeds, shouting about sauerkraut, permaculture barbecues, radio protective foods, pawpaw gifts, preservation fall, and now... Your latest Mouncy Minute offers multiple ways to enjoy the abundance of cheap pumpkins this time of year that do not involve using them as decorations. Yes, I made him do a Shocktober Mouncy Minute, stacking functions with pumpkins. This is Gavin Mouncy for Media Monarchy. I'm author of Recipes for Reciprocity, The Regenerative Way from Seed to Table, and this is the Mouncy Minute. Hey everyone, autumn's here. The leaves are changing color, nights are getting cooler, And Halloween's just around the corner. And you know what that means. Pumpkins, pumpkins everywhere. So this week we're going to be talking about stacking functions with pumpkins. Now for anyone out there carving pumpkins, don't let those pumpkin seeds go to waste. Those things are nutritional gold. They're packed with vitamin K, phosphorus, manganese, magnesium, iron, zinc, copper, antioxidants, vitamin B2, potassium, and folate. Not to mention a significant amount of protein. Due to the high amount of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that are present in pumpkin seeds, they offer a range of different health benefits, including, but not limited to, improving brain function, reducing the risk of certain cancers, improving prostate and bladder health, being very high in magnesium, which increases bone health and helps control blood pressure, improves heart health, lowers blood sugar levels, and last but not least, improves sperm quality. And by the plummeting fertility rates around the globe after all those genetic injections, you may have to repopulate the planet, so you better eat your pumpkin seeds. So one of the easiest ways you can enjoy pumpkin seeds, especially in the context of the time of year when there's prolific amounts of Halloween pumpkins available and tons of seeds being scooped out, is you scoop out your seeds, you wash them off them in a strainer, put them on a baking tray, I toss them in some olive oil or coconut oil, I put a little bit of black pepper and salt on them and I bake them on about 300 to 350 in the oven until they got a golden brown look to them and then boom you got yourself a nice snack you can enjoy for a couple weeks or you can actually go the distance and you can season them so sometimes I like to mix in a bit of honey or maple syrup with the olive oil or coconut oil and then add on some spices I'll add in things like cayenne pepper cinnamon maybe a little bit of cloves And then if you really want to go the distance, you could add something like cinnamon, cayenne pepper, and then drizzle some dark chocolate on them. And you got yourself some candied pumpkin seeds that are nutrient dense and otherwise would have been thrown away. Another recipe in my book that uses pumpkins is pumpkin soup. Another fun thing I like to do is stack in functions with pumpkins is after I carve out a medium sized pumpkin, I use it as a baking dish and I fill it with all the ingredients for shepherd's pie. Bake it in the oven and then you get to eat your baking dish and you don't have to clean it. Another fun thing I like to do is take chunks of pumpkin and ferment it as one would do beans or cucumbers or cabbage to make sauerkraut in a salt brine with spices that add a nice flavor to the pumpkin flesh like cinnamon, cloves, and onions. If you look on last last month's uh, Mouncy Minute, you'll see the picture actually shows some fermented pumpkin chunks in a jar. And last but not least, don't forget that each one of those pumpkin seeds you carve out has the potential to create at least 10 more pumpkins if you plant it in the soil next year. Pumpkins made a, make a great member for the Three Sisters Companion Planting System from the indigenous food growing system that includes corn, beans, and squash. So you could grow it as a Three Sisters Companion. Or if you really want to go the distance, I bet one pumpkin could probably grow a 1,000 pumpkins if you were doing it on a large scale. So there's a lot of potential in a single pumpkin. And at the end of the season, when everyone's done carving those pumpkins, they're going for pennies on the dollar, and they're packed full of nutrient-dense food. So don't let it go to waste. Okay, that's it for me this month, guys. Hope you enjoyed Pumpkins with a Permaculture Twist. Happy Halloween, everyone. And I will include the link to RecipesForReciprocity.com so you could pick up Gavin Mouncey's book and support him. You can also, of course, become a paid supporter on his Substack. He is doing the Lord's work. Stacking functions with pumpkins. A lot of responses in the Media Monarchy chats. The squirrels just about ate a whole pumpkin off our front patio. Wife and daughters think that's not very nice. 
I soak my pumpkin seeds to sprout them, gives them a little more nutrient action, dry them, then dehydrate or roast. 